joined by Ian Hill, the promoter of Canada Heads Up, here once again, a major presence at Motorama this year. I guess to begin with, tell me a little bit about the cars on display. First off, we're glad to be here, glad to be a part of Motorama again, I think for our fourth year in a row. Um, in our booth here, we got my new 67 Camaro, um, cars built for easy street. Uh, moving down the list, we got Lenny Farinacci's um, 450 Index. He was our 2023 champion for 450 Index. Beside him is uh, Robert Galati's 55 Chevy. Uh, Rob ended up uh, second place on our 550 Index. Across from our booth, we've got our uh, two, our Street 275 champion, Steph Malay's freshly painted Mustang. Our junior champion for 2023, Cole Ferry and uh, Carter Daniels. Uh, 750 index champion, uh, the Blue Bomber, Doug Reed's car, Brody Brown's Chevy 2. He runs, I think he was, uh, I believe, second or third place in our uh, 60 index. Uh, we got eight bikes, uh, everything from our stock wheel by stock wheelbase bike champion, uh, right through to um, our uh, our Cots, which is now going to be called uh, Pro Bike moving forward. Dave Rigo. Uh, sorry, stock wheelbase bike, Damien Tong's bike. Sorry, Damien. Um, Dave Rigo's Cots bike. Uh, we've got some um, 790 bikes. We've got our low nines bikes here. We've got a pretty good, pretty good group that uh, show a little bit of everything from our series from 2023. I guess for the schedule this year and, and the classes, it's uh, similar to last season. So what does the schedule look like and uh, what classes are in action on a, a regular basis? So nothing's really changed for 2023 as far as that goes. We're running five series races starting in June. We've got one June, one July, one August, and we finish up with uh, two in September. Same thing as we did last year. Every single event's the same. We start with a Friday test session through the day. Uh, killer track prep on Friday to get ready for the weekend's race. Um, our pro categories all qualify on Saturday and race Sunday, while our sportsman uh, index classes on the car side start at 6.0 and um, uh, include the bike indexes, our 790 and our, our high eights this year. They'll all have um, uh, two qualifying days, two eliminator days. Basically, they're qualifying and racing Saturday qualifying and racing a whole different race on Sunday and they get points for both days. Who will some of the contenders be this season? Oh, I don't even know where to start. I think everybody's going to be looking at the parachutes of this car in Easy Street. <laughs> no, I can tell you. Um, you know, everybody's looking forward to Ricky Carlos getting his car uh, back up and running after his bad crash at our last event last year. Pano Morris, he's always been a hitter. Five-time Pano Morris, we all call him. I mean, he's always got to be a favorite to get to the final round or at least to get into the top two or three or really one or two in the last few years in points for Super Street. Um, Easy Street can go any way. Everybody's running so fast. Rob Orifiama has set the number at the last race two, two years in a row. He's got to be a favorite. Um, I think the only reason that they were down in the uh, series points this year is because of a, a prior commitment. He missed one of the events. Um, Street 275, the top eight guys there, any time, any place those guys could win on any event. They're all so close and killer. Steph, he's one of our new uh, champions. And last year and the year before, we had new champions in that class as well. Um, going down to the 550 index, um, 2023, we had uh, uh, 14 members pre-register in that class. There's 17 regular racers and they're all hardcore. So, I mean, it just goes right down the right down the rail all the way through to the bike classes and our junior dragster deals. Uh, the racing is so close here, it can go anyway. I know here at Motorama, there will be the driver's meeting again on the Saturday and there's also the networking events. So how important is sort of the social aspect for the Canada Heads Up series? It's been, we're, like I said, we're on our five years, and if people haven't figured that out about me yet, uh, I don't know when they're going to figure it out. It is all about the social aspect, right? For years, we've raced and been racing late into the night on Fridays or late into the night on Saturdays, and our families stop coming to the racetrack. Our kids stop coming to the racetrack. I want to bring that back. We've been working so hard to bring that back. We make sure that 
qualifying is done in a timely manner on sa on Saturday, so that the the band, so that the barbecues come back out, the family dinners come back out, the pit parties come back out, um, you know, and it shows here with what we got going on tomorrow. Like you said, we've got our driver announcement meetings at three o'clock. We've got our networking event here at our booth, like we have had for the last three years at six p.m. Saturday. Come on out if you're a drag racer. I don't care what series you race, if you're a drag racer, come on out. We got some refreshments, we got some pizza. It'll be a good night. And is there anything else that people should know about Canada Heads Up? If you're not following us on Facebook by now, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> we got killer track prep, we got a killer series, we run the schedule. Um, yeah, I mean, we, we're. We try and keep to our schedule as much as we can, as tight as we can, and uh, you know, try to make sure that you know our racers are getting as much value for their dollars. That's for sure. Thank you.